Yo, 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 yo. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review set on the Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Blunt Man Chronic and Cock Knocker. If you're trying to pick these up, you can get them at Big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Big, big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from Diamond Select Toys, check out their YouTube channel, link below. And you can see the packaging over here. We have the mat from the movie, and then we get the Jay and Silent Bob right over there. And on the side, you can see Blunt Man, Kevin Smith, Jay Muse as Chronic. And then we get the Mark Hamill as Cockknocker, which is great because in this picture over here, I got to meet Mark Hamill and he punched me in the face like Cockknocker. Thank you so much, Sean Long. Awesome, awesome birthday gift. And my birthday's next week, so thanks again, bro. And then on the back, you can see all three figures over here. And we get these dioramas, and then there's this read up that they all have. If you want to read it, pause it now. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open. <laughs> and here's Blunt Man and Chronic out of the packaging. And I do like these figures. They are very cool figures. There are some gripes I have with them. Uh, I do have the Cockknocker figure. I just put it aside. I wanted to get him on this rotating base over here because that's how Jake comes out, you know, right before he fights Cockknocker and everything. But uh, I really like the Jake figure a lot. The Bob figure, I wish he had more articulation, but he's kind of a chubby bastard, so it's kind of hard to figure that out. The Cockknocker, though, I think might be actually my favorite one out of these three. But anyway, let's take a closer look at Blunt Man and Chronic, and then we'll take a closer look at the Cockknocker. So all three of these figures come with their own bases. Blunt Man and Chronic come with this two-part base right here, so you have to connect them together. And each of them come with their own Blunt Cave uh, backdrop right over here. So if you only buy one of them, you can still put this behind it, but you only need one if you're getting the two of them together like this. And I think this is pretty cool. I like that we get this metallic blue paint right here for the rails. And it's hollow at the bottom, and it connects very nicely, and there's a nice gap in between it, so you can just put this slip piece right over here. And I think the deco came out pretty well for this. I do wish it was a little bit taller, though, when you have the figure standing right here, you know, it doesn't cover the back of them. And then over here, we have the set to the Blunt Cave as well, from the Mark Hamill figure, or the Cockknocker figure, and you get these little rocks right over here, which are painted quite nicely. I like the green paint mixed with black, same thing over here. Then you have this printout over here for the cardboard backing, so it's the Blunt Cave, looking pretty cool. And then on the back you can see it's like a set prop, it says Blunt Man and Chronic Movie, Rock Wall Set 2. Very, very nice. And then along with the backdrop, you get these two stools right over here. And then for Mark Hamill, he also comes with this stand right over here. Surprisingly, Blunt Man or Chronic do not come with these little black stands. <gasps> so here's a closer look at Blunt Man right over here. And it really does look like Kevin Smith to me. I think this actually looks more like Kevin Smith than the Bob figure from the Jane Silent Bob series that we've gotten earlier. I really like the bat hat that he has over here. You can see the seams and everything. And I really think this does have the likeness down. You get a little bit of extra paint over here, so it looks like he has a mole on his nose, but I don't know. I, I do see Kevin Smith in this, and then he has his hair right over there. I guess the paintwork on the face looks a little bit weird because you can see that color change, but it's not too bad looking. I dig this. And the hair is pliable enough where you could still rotate it around and use the articulation. Now, I'm not an expert or anything, like how would I know, but I think there's supposed to be a couple other leaves right over here on this. No? Uh, am I wrong about that? I think there's supposed to be a couple more, right? It should be seven. But anyway, looking at his jacket, there's no paint shading or anything like that on this. It's just this very dark blue color. And then his belt looks really good. Get that nice gold paint right there. Again, missing a couple leaves, I think. And the paint looks pretty solid throughout, but there's not a whole lot of it going on. And then the boots are sculpted pretty well over here. I like the treads right there at the bottom. He has peg holes. I wish they had actually painted these buckles silver. That would have been neat, but I have to go look to see if they're actually painted in the movie. And he has his gloves. These look pretty nice. And then he does have his not lightsaber, his bong saber. I don't know what the official name for these are. You can see the handle right there. And we get that very bright blue translucent blue plastic right there. And you can kind of see some dots in there, kind of having that smoky effect, I think. I really wish these would have been removable though, you know what I mean? So that you could put it up to his face, you know what I mean, without the blade right there. But anyway, I still think these are very cool. And you could fit it into his right hand very easily. And you could kind of fit it into the left hand. It's more meant for the right hand, but he still will hold it over here too, so that stays pretty nicely. And here's looking at the back of the figure, not a whole lot going on, just the big old trench coat. So looking at Blunt Man's articulation, unfortunately you cannot move his head upwards. And I find that a little frustrating. Uh, you can move his head down though, and you do get side to side movement right here. So the hair doesn't really stop that side to side movement from happening, which is good. Uh, and you do get some neck pivot as well, which is also good. Anyway, his shoulders move outward, you can move them forward, he bends at the elbow, he rotates at the wrist over here. I wish there was a swivel on the bicep. That would have been kind of cool, or rotation at the elbow. And then as far as this whole section goes, you can rotate 
rotate his waist side to side, but he doesn't have any real crunching motion or anything like that over there. You can get the hip joints moving outward only a little bit. Well, let's see if we really push it over here. We can, oh, come on, there it goes. So you can get a click each way going on right there. So that's not too terrible. And you can't really get him kicking forward at all though. So yeah, uh, well, no, that's, that counts. That's just a little bit right there. He does have the above the knee swivel. He has double jointed knees. So you could bend those in all the way in like that. He also has boot rotation over here. And then he does have ankles that do move down. They move up and he does have ankle pivot. And here's looking at Chronic. Looking pretty cool. I really like that facial expression that he has right over here. Uh, the eyes do look a little off to me though. This one does look a little bit lower than that one. And I do like the mask though. That's pretty good. And I really like the highlights in the hair. I don't know if this looks spot on to Jason Muse, but that facial expression is really cool though. I feel like this is the part where he's saying like Darth Bong. I don't know. Or Snoogan. I don't know. It's just, J it's a J facial expression. But anyway, looking at the hair, you get the highlights right there. And you can see the joint right over there with the smoke all around it. Then looking on the back right over here, you get some more highlights. And then here's his cap. Looking at the rest of the figure, there's not much paint going on, but it is sculpted nicely with all these wrinkles over here. I do like the wrinkles. Nice wrinkles right over there. The hands look pretty good. And here's a look at his bong saber. And again, kind of like the Kevin Smith one, it kind of has this little bit of a smoky effect in it, and I think that's really cool. But again, I really wish you could detach the blades. That would have been really nice, but oh well. Nice metallic purple paint right over there. And he can hold this in his right hand. It fits really well over here. But in the left hand, it gets tricky. The belt looks really good with the gold paint, right? We got the joint with the smoke coming out of it. And then you can see some more wrinkles right over here on his shorts and throughout the pants. So, wish there was some kind of shadowing effect or something like that. Maybe color the laces or something. A little bit more color would have been nice, but still looks pretty good. And he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So, looking at Chronic's articulation, you can get his head looking up only a little bit. That's not too bad. They do allow some space right there. And he can look downward. You get side to side movement over here. You kind of have to move his hair flaps around. So, that gets kind of weird, but it's still very workable. And you do get head pivot over here. That works very, very nice. Then his arms move outward, they move forward, he bends at the elbow, and then rotates at the wrist. Again, really wishing that there was a bicep swivel or an elbow swivel over here. He does have a good diaphragm joint that turns side to side, you get some good pivot over there, and it does crunch forward and back that much. He has DCUC gaping crotch pits, and he does kick forward and move back. No upper thigh swivel, I really wish he had an upper thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees, then he does have boot rotation over here, and then his ankles move down, up, and he does have ankle pivot. Come here. I just realized that Mark Hamill had Super Saiyan hair for this movie. I don't know why they gave him that for the cockknocker look. But anyway, he has some nice orange right there mixed in with the yellow. So I think that looks pretty nice. I think this kind of looks like Mark Hamill. I guess like this part of the mouth looks a little off, but for the most part, I don't think it looks too bad. I think the paint came out pretty clean around his eyes and everything too. So I do like this head sculpt. You can see a big fat seam running through the middle right there, but eh, it's not a big deal. This cape is made out of a nice pliable material, so it's pretty easy to work with, doesn't hinder anything. And I think the paint apps and everything came out pretty good on this. I really like this one a lot. Nice wrinkles and everything on this one too. Again, they could have added some shadowing effect or something. That would have been kind of nice, but it's all right. They actually have a little bit of that going on with the flesh tone. I have to take that back. Yeah, so there's his giant fist right there. You can put his lightsaber in right there, which is really neat that he has a red lightsaber. Right over here, you can see it does have a little bit of that smoky look again with the paint and I wish this was removable but looking back at this guy over here you get the CK you know some pretty nice paint on this I really like how we get that cock knocker logo right there the CK with the fist that looks awesome it's on both boots over here and no shadowing effect or color variations but it looks pretty good and looking on the back it's mostly just the cape there's the Hamill butt so yeah not too shabby and looking at the articulation for Mark Hamill over here you can move the head up only a little bit and you can move it downward you get side to side movement and you do get neck pivot shoulders move outward that much you can move them forward bends at the elbow again I wish there's a swivel at the bicep or the elbow and he does have the wrist swivel over here diaphragm joint rotates side to side you do get a little bit of pivot it gets hindered by the belt over here and he can crunch forward only a little bit he does move back a little bit more so and I will say that this wrist swivel over here on the right side is a little bit scary I feel like this may break on me I don't know why it just kind of has that feeling it's a little wobbly but anyway so I recommend using some heat before you start moving that joint you can get him kicking forward and then he doesn't move back he does have the gaping DCUC crotch bits and then no upper thigh swivel again and he does have the double jointed knees and he does have the boot rotation angles move down up and he does have ankle pivot now these are select figures so they're all standing at around seven inches tall you can 
can see that Jay's is obviously the tallest one, and then Bluntman, and then Cockknocker. And then here's Bluntman and Chronic next to Jay and Silent Bob. And you can see right over here, Chronic and Jay do not stand at the same exact height as well with Bob and Bluntman. You know, the height's just not exactly the same, but when you see these two side by side, they look good. And then here's Cockknocker next to the Star Wars Black series Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. And then here's all three figures next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. <laughs> So again, I really like these figures a lot. I think they have some really good articulation. Their ankle pivots looking really good. You know, I do have my complaints, but you can still get these guys into pretty dynamic poses, aside from the blunt man over there. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. Check out my Patreon account. Your help is very much needed and appreciated. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.